As promised, today is another GS550 video. Carrying on from yesterday's video where you saw me putting the regulator rectifier on the CX500, we've also got one for the GS550 as well. That's it there. Obviously that's to stop me from frying the battery. The reason I'm putting this in as a separate video is I think it needs explaining, I think it needs showing. It's quite a vital part of the build. It stops anyone from doing the same. Anyone else using a lithium ion battery with the same charging system as what I've got on here, it's worth putting this in so, you know, it stops other people from frying the batteries. So that's one job. Another job I've got to do quickly today is just figure out why I've got a bit of play in my steering. I took the bike up and down last night just to see if it was all right and if it was stable and everything. There's a slight play in the steering. So when I brake, there's a slight play ever so slightly and it's bugging me. It's bugging me to the extent that I know that it's probably going to fail the MOT if I take it there and there's, you know, it's, it's obviously not going to pass its MOT like that. So I need to have a look at it now. I need to do that. So two jobs, let's do it. Okay, so I think this is the culprit. It's the old tapered bearing that I used before. This is going back years now. I thought that this bearing was alright, but actually there is a bit of play in it. The more I look at it, the more I can see it play. Uh, so what obviously I will do now is order a new bearing set for the top and bottom. Fit that on and then that'll be that. Another hurdle with the GS, but if you're going to ride these things, you're going to want to be safe. You're going to want it to pass the MOT as well, so for the sake of waiting a couple of days from probably all balls racing is where I'll probably get it from. Waiting a couple of days for that and for the sake of £10 maximum for this, it's worth it just to be safe. The last thing I want to do is go with the handlebars and that. So this can go in the bin onto the regulator rectifier now. Now I just need to take this regulator rectifier off. A couple of screws which I have loosened already. Make it a really quick job. And there we go, that is out. Is this like for like? So the CX500 was, is this. Ah, oh, fantastic. This is actually a proper like for like. It's the same shape as well. I mean, this is a new regulator rectifier. This was a brand new one that I put on the bike when I first bought it. I don't think it's got the same technology as the Rick's uh, Motorsport one. So let's move that out of the way and let's place this new regulator rectifier in place. And then we can worry a little bit about the, uh, about the wiring afterwards. You know, I can't actually believe how much neater the electric tray is in the GS compared to the ZX. If that CDI wasn't on the CX, we'd have so much more room. So for the most of this, it's going to be a pretty much straight swap, but I have got a couple of bits I need to sort out. So, when I was digging around before, I accidentally took the top, or the, the, uh, the bullet off one of these wires. That is connected to the regulator rectifier so I just need to get that back again wow these ones are in so much better condition than the CX in fact that is definitely a job after I've got the bike MOT and everything I'll definitely make my own wiring harness don't really want to do it now because I don't want to delay getting the MOT and getting it on the road and hey if Motor Gadget want to actually donate an M unit to me then you know I will never say no to one of those never let's replace these like for like now And that is the new regulator rectifier in place. A quick, a really quick and easy swap, pretty much. What I do need to do now for the GS, anyway, this is carrying on with the GS build. I do need to sort these wires out so all the wires are connected and everything, but they do need to obviously be sorted out, be neatened up. These here are for the rear lights, so that will be another episode, just putting the rear lights on. Rear light does need to sit quite neat under that. So we'll be doing that, but as you can see, the GS is in a similar situation now to the CX. 
Well, actually, no, it's not. It's not. The, the bearings have gone on that. But since finding that out, I have ordered new bearings. The bearings will be here on Thursday. So that's two days to wait for that. Two days for the new bearings. And then sort the steering out again. And then we'll be in a similar situation to the CX. Oh, on heck. Seeing as we're doing like a little infill video, let's put a regulator rectifier on here as well. So this is a regulator for the CB750 because the CB750's charging system is different. It needs a different regulator. So let's put this on here. And there it is, that's all done, out of the way, discreet, and from the top. And there we have it, that is the end of this video. As I mentioned at the beginning, it's only a short video, only a short midweek infill video just to show you the update on the GS, and I think, as I mentioned, this video needs to be done. People need to know about changing their regulators, the last thing you want is people frying their batteries, thinking they can do a plug and play, and then wasting all that money. So if someone's just following the GS build, at least this video's in there now. Still coming up this week, I'm hoping to give you another three videos. I'm trying a little experiment of getting a video a day up, this week only, but we've got some interesting stuff. We've got a factory visit at CCM, they create some beautiful motorbikes. We've got a motor vlog coming up, and also we've got a special announcement. So if you want to stay up to date with those and you're not already subscribed, then please subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and if you want to support this channel as well, visit fortheboltindustries.com and see if there's a t-shirt that you like, or a sweater or anything. It's always appreciated, and if you do buy merchandise from this channel, then please tag me on Instagram in the picture we put up in the support part of the For The Bold Industries website. So until tomorrow, I'm hoping, fingers crossed I can get this video out. So until tomorrow, have a good evening, ride safe, and I'll see you then.